Hey guys, it's Jay. So right now what I'm going to do is show you how you can normalize your Panasonic GH5's vlog video. Now I know a lot of people don't really agree with how I color correct my videos, but at least my mom likes it. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and go over it. I'm going to show you this way first and if you want me to keep going, I will. But basically what we're going to do is normalize it, add some contrast and saturation without using any LUTs. So let's get to it. I'm using DaVinci Resolve 14. This software is free, but you can pay for it too if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our video scopes. You can change this if you want, but let's just change it to one, it's fine. Oh, Jesus, that's big. All right, um, let's shrink that down. Okay, so I have a footage here of the Panasonic GH5 from last weekend's shoe, and you guys, you guys are probably seeing this a lot in my channel. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is add a node. You can press Alt S or right click, add node, add a serial node, just like that. So we have two nodes. On the first node, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of contrast. I'm gonna go ahead and untick this so you can see the image a little bit better. In the color tab here, color wheels, there is a contrast uh, option here. So if you don't see it, just go to one. So basically what we're gonna do is just add contrast. Add contrast, not, not too much. Let's leave some room. I like to leave some room. This is probably good here. Now, mind you, this is just how I do it. I'm just showing you the tools so you can maybe mess around with it and you can find your own way in correcting these footage. After that, I'm gonna use the pivot. Basically what a pivot does, it just it moves the middle point of the contrast. It changes where the, uh, it stretch, stretches the image. So if I move it to the right, it's gonna stretch us in the lower end. If I move it to the left, it's gonna go higher. It's gonna clip those highlights there. You can see in the waveform here a little bit better. So just find a spot where you want it really. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. We'll look at our skin tones real quick. So you can use that as a reference. So I'll probably do it right there that looks pretty good with me now this was shot in the shade there's a little bit of highlights there so it's going to be a little bit difficult this footage is not going to be easy to color correct or grade but like i said i'm just showing you the tools now after that i'm going to go to my second node what i'm going to do now is just go to my lift and just slowly drag that down now we're going to look at before and after before after right away with just two nodes just like that the image looks great let's control f make that bigger that looks awesome right now after that you can add another node add serial now i like to add nodes as much as i can so i know which one's which instead of just mixing everything together now in this one you can either desaturate your image or um add more saturation so this is really up to you you can saturate it this way or if you want let's go ahead and reset that you can go here crank out the red the green and blue voila control f make it bigger holy crap she is saturated look at those eyes if that's too much for you you can go to the key, key output, and lower the opacity of that node, right? To whatever works for you. Sweet. Control F. Okay. We're going to go with before and after. Okay, so if you've been following my videos on YouTube, I like to make my videos short and sweet. So if you want me to continue with these tutorials, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.